Hi Doreen Primary School, Mrs Simmons checking in for Phys Ed this week at the start of Term 4. I hope you've all had a fantastic holiday break and have kept your body moving as much as you can each day over the school holidays. I'm here with Millie and Zeddy. Hi! And we're going to show you some fun balloon activities to get you started this term. Let's check them out. Or keepy uppy. All you need is yourself and a balloon. Millie and Zeddy, you got your balloon? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. The aim of this activity is to keep your balloon up off the ground. Make sure you choose a surface that's not going to pop your balloon. Grass can pop balloons. This is a great indoor game, or we're going to do it on our deck out the front. Ready, girls? Yeah. Keepy yeah. uppy, off you go. So tap your balloon up in the air. Try not to hold your balloon. You just got to keep popping it up. Walls are okay. You can bounce it off walls. Challenge yourself. How many taps up can you do? Oh, and we've hit the ground. And see if you can also swap hands. For keeping up the extreme, there's different levels. Grab a wooden spoon if you've got one or another smooth object like a bat. You can use your hand if you need to. Perhaps in grade ones, your hand will be good for this. And two balloons. First level, use the spoon and try to hit the balloon like keepy uppy with the spoon. Next level, get two balloons. Start with your hand and tap the balloons up, getting them to take it in turns. Third level, use a spoon. Let's have a go. For this game, you need a balloon and something to mark the center line of a court. We've used shoes spaced out so that you can run between them. You're going to hit the balloon up on your side of the court. A couple of hits is allowed before you tap it over to the other side of the court where you are also going to be the other player. Off you go, Zeddy. Up and over. She runs across, taps it up and over. Walls are okay again. For this one, you need one balloon, at least two players, and you're going to play balloon volleyball over your net. So we're using our shoe line again. You can have up to three hits on your side, and then you must tap it over. Younger students, you can scrap that rule if you want, and older students, you can adjust your rules if you want to. Let's go. I hope you have some fun with those activities and we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye.